Welcome. It's January 19th, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Welcome to Thoughts from the Word. We're going to pick up today in Psalm chapter 37, verse 37. Forgive me if my face keeps changing colors. The sun uh, is just wreaking havoc on this camera. Uh, it's going in and out, different uh, different lights. I've got the shades drawn, trying to keep it as close to the same as possible. But anyways, turn to by uh, Psalm 37. We're going to look at verse 7. Hear now the word of the Lord. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Amen. We're going to continue our thoughts towards worship and rediscovering worship. And in this verse, we see one, uh, two or three things, actually, that we should do in order to really enhance and build our worship. First, we need to be still before the Lord. I think uh, for Americans in particular, that's difficult to do because we live such a go, go, go life that just stopping is difficult. Just taking time and being quiet is difficult. We're told to be still before the Lord and patiently wait for him. As we enter into worship, we are entering into the throne room of grace to lift our hearts in praise and worship to him. Uh, and we need to wait patiently for him to work in us and to, to move in us and to speak to us through the power of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit and the Word and to teach us uh, and to uh, just to, to move within us. We also are not to worry about what everybody else is doing. Don't worry about the one who, who has more than you. Don't worry about him who is doing whatever he wants to do. We're to focus on ourselves, worshiping God. But let's begin, we begin our worship by just getting still and waiting for God. It's in the, those times of waiting that God then begins to reveal himself through the Spirit and through the Word. And so today, just take some time in your private devotional time to, to just be still and wait upon him. Let's hear from the uh, Valley of Vision today. O oh Lord God, thou art our preserver, governor, savior, and coming judge. Quieten our souls to call upon thy name. Detach us from the influence of the flesh and the senses. Impress us with the power of faith. Promote in us spirituality of mind that will render our services acceptable to thee and delightful and profitable to ourselves. Bring us into that state which attracts thine eye and prepare us to receive the proofs of thy love. Show us our danger that we may fly to thee for refuge. Make us sensible of our sin's disease that we may value the good physician. Placard to us the cross, that it may slay the enmity of our heart. Help us to be watchful over our ways, jealous over our tempers, diligent over our hearts. When we droop, revive us. When we loiter, quicken us. When we go astray, restore us. Possess us with more of that faith, which is the principle of all vital godliness. May we be rich in faith. Be strong in faith, live by faith, walk by faith, experience the joy of faith, do the work of faith, hope through faith. Perceiving nothing in ourselves, may we find in the Savior wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, redemption. Amen and amen. Let's uh, go before the Lord and close our time in prayer. Father, we thank you that we can gather together as your children and hear from your word. I pray, O oh Lord, that you would just empower us and enable us to take some time to be still and listen and wait patiently for you. For your word also tells us to be still and know that you are God. So in the stillness of our hearts, may we see you and know you and walk with you according to your will and glory. O oh Lord, be with us today. Put your protective hand upon us, your calming hand upon us, your healing hand upon us, and give us your strength that we may glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, thank you for being 
with us today. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we have some more thoughts from the Word. Thank you.